With Printworks Fabric Transfers, you can easily create personalized clothing, accessories, gifts, and more. In this video, we will guide you through the process of achieving professional looking results with our light fabric transfers. These steps apply to our light and glitter light transfers. Your pack will come with transfer sheets and the instruction sheet. You will also need an inkjet printer, scissors, a lint roller to remove the dust, a pillowcase, an iron, and a hard ironing surface. If using a heat press, refer to the back of the instruction sheet that came with your transfer pack. Last but not least, you need to choose the fabric for your project. Make sure to use the fabric that is 100% cotton or a cotton poly blend. For our light fabric transfers, we recommend using only white, off-white, or cream-colored fabrics. When creating your design, you can include full color photos, graphics, and text. A key difference between the dark and light transfers is that dark transfers are opaque, meaning that any blank or unprinted areas in your design will remain white even on colored fabrics. On the other hand, light transfers are transparent, so the fabric color will show through your design if applied to a colored fabric. Be sure to keep this in mind as you create your design. We have some tips on our blog to help you choose the right transfer for the fabric color you plan to use. Another thing you should note with the light transfers is that you will need to mirror or flip the image before printing, especially if your design includes text. There are a few ways to do this depending upon the program you are using. You can find tips on our FAQs page. When it's time to print, we suggest first doing a test print on blank paper to make sure you are happy with the sizing and the coloring. Once you are satisfied, load the paper into your printer so that it prints on the blank, unprinted side. In your printer settings, choose the best quality option for plain paper. Then let your finished print dry for about 30 minutes before ironing. Next, cut out the transfer, leaving a 1 8 inch border around the edge of your design. Do not peel away the backer prior to ironing. Here's a quick tip. You can also use desktop cutting machines to cut out more complex shapes. Visit our blog to watch our video on this process. Set your iron to the maximum linen heat setting. Smooth out the pillowcase onto your ironing surface and iron out any wrinkles. Then place your fabric on top of the pillowcase. Use the lint roller to remove any lint, then iron to remove the wrinkles and moisture from your fabric. Place your transfer on the fabric with the design facing down. You will now see the reason for mirroring your image prior to printing. With firm pressure, Begin ironing. Use both hands and move in a straight, non-stop motion, top to bottom, then side to side. Be sure to cover the entire design, including the edges. Keep the iron moving to prevent scorching or yellowing. Here are the optimum ironing times based on the size of your transfer. Note, if your iron sole plate has recessed channels, Extra ironing time for up to one additional minute may be needed. Wait five seconds, then peel the backing paper while it's still hot. Hold the fabric in place with one hand, then smoothly and evenly peel away the backing paper with the other hand. And there's your finished project. The only limit is your imagination. What will you create? 